Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today I'm doing the second look, trying desperately to find a reason why I like this palette with the exception of the beautiful colors inside. Oh my God, look at all these beautiful colors. They're just absolutely stunning. Little jewels in a box, but they're eyeshadow. Anyhow, if you'd like to see what my thoughts are on this palette, or you'd like to see how I created this light lilac eye, stay okay, tuned. Okay, don't judge. Behind me, might be some purchases. That's the bad part. I hate when stuff in the background shows in people's videos, unless it's pretty. That's not pretty. Don't judge. Don't judge. Okay, so I decided to do a second look with the Huda Beauty palette. The Desert Dusk. So it's, in, well I guess it's not interesting for anyone out there but me. Um, but after Bailey said she didn't like the, the product, I really didn't watch any other videos because I thought, eh. You know, why would I watch a video that on a product I'm not going to buy? I bought it anyways. But today I'm going to try maybe some of these here. Because this one, if you watch my other video, a total blasted letdown. So I think, yeah, I'm going to, we'll try something. I do want to try a second one before I fully judge. Because there is such pretty colors in here. So it drives me crazy that there's pretty colors. <laughs> you can see it's going all over the place. It drives me crazy that there's such pretty colors and it's just, ah, just disappointing. But we're gonna try again. Look at that. Hold on, come on camera, play nicely. No, it's not gonna play nicely. There we go. I mean, that's just, watch. Mm -mm -mm. I don't like excessive fallout. I don't mind a little. I expect a little. Mama don't like excessive. Okay, now I'm gonna go and pick up this color musk. And that's gonna be the transition shade. Yeah, it corrects me if I really haven't used this pan but once, and or this palette but once, but it, it definitely looks like I have. And this one I'm having to blend a little bit different because these go on, for whatever reason, patchy, where I don't typically have that with other eyeshadows. If I did know better, if I thought, if I didn't buy this myself, and I got this as a gift. I would think I've been duped. Not that I would care that I got a dupe from someone as a gift, but I totally would question the fact if this is real or not. Okay, I'm gonna pick up Amethyst. Okay, now that I've got the amethyst kind of down, although it's it's not looking exactly pretty, I'm gonna pick up some of the, the brush that I use the musk on and just kind of lightly go over the, the edges where those two meet. And we're kind of blending them and softening etc. Back up that flat brush I just used. I'm going to do a little twilight here, which is the other color I bought this for. Obviously, I don't have Botox. 
<laughs> Crack myself up. Think of Joan Rivers. Am I smiling? I think I'm smiling. Am I smiling? <laughs> she used to crack me up. I love that she could get plastic surgery and she didn't care what anyone thought. Wondered if she was smiling or not. I'm always attracted to metallics and iridescent colors. I have been since I was a little girl, so it's, you know, just something I gravitate to. Like, oh, that's so pretty. This color isn't probably doing as well on its own. It's very sheer. So I almost wished that I would have done the amethyst all over the eye. But we'll keep using Twilight, shall we? See how light that is? Gonna have to really scoop into this twilight color to get it to stick with a brush, either that or maybe if I use my finger. I forgot about that the other day. My pet peeves. I gotta start getting out, get this stuck wet. It's really not gonna make me happy. All right, I need, I think, a darker purple for the under eye. I might switch to my eye pencil for that. So, <clears throat> look number two. I'm just, once again, not impressed with this palette, so I'm not gonna feel bad about returning this. I've actually, in my life, never returned an eye palette. And if you looked around this beauty room, you'd see that's true. So, um, this one's going back. And I actually bought the, the foundation and it was the wrong color. And my sister-in-law said, Amy, it's the worst foundation she's ever used. She actually did more than one video on it. So I thought she really liked it. Cause I don't know that I've ever seen her do more than one video on the foundation now that I think about it. So I thought she really, really liked it. So if I want to try a product, just so y'all know, is I actually will not watch the video when I'm do any of the videos when I'm doing a first impression because I want to figure out if the if I really like the products myself without being oh, what do you call it? I don't want to have someone else's opinion be mine. So I didn't watch either of her videos and she asked me or she knew. I think her and I talked it and I said that I had gotten that the foundation also and she was like have you used it? And I said, no, it's the wrong color. And she goes, it is horrible. I've done two videos. And I was like, wow. And I trust my sister-in-law. And if y'all haven't been over to her YouTube channel, you should. She says it like it is. I think that's the one reason why I like doing the YouTube and, and partnering up with her to do videos on occasion is because she just likes to tell it like it is. And I think that that's what the consumers need, to be honest. They, they need people to not just be excited about a product, they need to really be honest about them. Again, my opinion for what it's worth. Okay, so I laid down a base of purples with the uh, Mark II Marc Jacobs eyeliners, and now I'm gonna pick back up that flat brush and that amethyst. Let's see how this goes. I'm gonna use that to kind of buff out and smooth out the eyeliner. Okay, now I'm gonna pick up the e.l.f. Expert Liquid Liner. This was actually in my giveaway box because I had bought a ton of them before they sold out or went out. impressed with ladies that can stop at an eye like this and put on mascara. If I don't line my top lashes, I don't feel like I'm complete. Is anyone else like that or is it just um, a little crazy? 
which we know I'm a little crazy. I'm okay with that. Just a little baby is the wing. I'm gonna go with the saying, no two wings are created equal. Back to Sabrina. God bless her. She can do a wing like nobody's business. Not me. It's as good as these wings are gonna get. Okay, so now I'm just gonna add my Marc Jacobs mascara. Use my little scuba. Somehow managed to spread little mascara bits all over my eyes like the Pope spreading holy water. So while that is drying down, I am going to grab one of the Morphe, this is called Backseat Love. I may have been mentioning these in some of my other videos, so I've never tried the Morphe lip liners. I don't like them. Three bucks a piece? They're pretty good. Okay, so I wanted a nude lip, and this one is Romance from Storybook Cosmetics. This was a nice nude to go with this eye because it looks like it has just slightly like a purple kind of undertone. And now I'm going to attempt to remove all of these little bits of mascara I got everywhere. I didn't realize I had fallout. You look at my, I had fallout from, what color was that? The one I used on the middle. And now I've got a purplish blush to my cheeks. Sweet! Because that was not the look I was going for. Let's see if I can't use some Wonder 2 selfie powder. Yeah. Um, bring down that shimmer. Okay, I'm gonna go do something with my little Elvis pompadour and I shall return. All right, I feel like the lip isn't still right. So I'm gonna try this Ulta Beauty Metallic. I think that's what was missing. Some additional sparkle. So if you guys haven't tried these Ulta Beauty Metallic, this is a uh, liquid lipstick. They're actually pretty good. I kind of like them. Okay, so after today, I definitely um, am breaking up with Huda. I loved her previous palette. I don't love this one. So we're breaking up over this one. I will say though, her liquid lips, I, I got hers in minis and I've talked about the liquid lips before on my channel. I got this little bad boy with Venus bombshell flirt and trendsetter. I love it. In fact, I was able to pick it up so fast without really thinking that I was going to talk about her liquid lips because I keep them right in front of me. So the Huda lips, I'm not breaking up with. The desert des dust palette. Huda, you could, come on now, come on now. You are a beauty guru. Why would you put this out? It looks like a fake and it's not. I have receipts to prove it. Um, so anyways, I, I think she does really good with liquid lips. I think whoever she's using to do her eyeshadows um, this time was, I, if they are the same people that did her last palette, I'll be surprised. If they are the same people, Find out what happened. Did they get new employees? Did they, I don't know. I don't know. This was just not, just not a good palette. So I hate that I'm breaking up with the Huda palette, but it must be. So anyways, if you have any comments or questions, um, please put those below. I, again, I'm so disappointed because I love, love the colors in the palette. I just think the palette is stunning. So now this is ugly. I'm hoping someone else does the knockoff of the exact same palette, but with good eyeshadows. Ooh, yeah, I said it out loud. I said what y'all were thinking. Come on now. Anyways, 
I do appreciate my YouTube audience. I always have so much fun interacting with you all. And I just hope you all have a great day. Until next time.